That'd be Easter traders. Welcome to the stream, the Easter stream. Weekly candle close, one hour, 46 minutes. Hope you're having a good one. Amen. Yes, he is risen, 100%. Uh, so, Bitcoin sold off, not much happened, it rallied. And the critical area that uh, we were holding, it uh, was holding as support, you know, you fell through and now it was once resistance, it is now resistance again until something changes, until um, we get some volatile price action off the previous engulfing candle. Uh, you got to get back above 58,100 to feel real good about uh, where Bitcoin is, at least in the short term. Hold on. Let's get rid of that. Uh, so that's, that's it, man. I mean, there's not really an edge. Nothing currently on the four hours implying like upside or downside right now. But, you know, also all we can do is kind of look at the price actions correlation to previous support resistance. And I just told you what's going on, right? You're below it and it's resistance again. So, again, I mean, like if, if this actually is confirmed as resistance and uh, sell out more selling is going to occur because of that. Well, then you would think the 200 moving average, 55,389 would be a target, as well as just 55,000 in itself that has in history, you know, been regarded as a pivot point. I mean, just recently, like the 28th and 29th of March, that's exactly what happened. You rallied and back tested 55K as support and then went up to definitely hit $60,000, right? Just like back here, you know, in mid-March, 15th, 16th, you had the same type of uh, reaction in that area before going higher. So, right, I know a lot of people would be like, oh my God, inverse head and shoulders down at 53,390. Yeah, possible, sure. I mean, there's a lot of decent amount of support below us, whether you talk about horizontal line support or upsloping support, right? The, uh, you know, the big potential rising wedge or just really right now, it's just a, the structure of consolidation after a big markup, right? And that, that makes sense, right? It's 42 days, Bitcoin's gone nowhere. Literally 42 days, Bitcoin's the same price. Stable coin, just kidding, because in between, the context is crazy, right? I mean, it's been all over the place, but again, same spot you were February 21st. So we're just hanging out, man, just a you know, quick Easter stream. Uh, created a, well, had Jalen create a, a special NFT. I, I'm doing like NFTs for, uh, you know, just holidays and stuff. You know, there'll be one for like, uh, there was one for St. Patrick's Day. There's now one for Easter. There's going to be one for like 4th of July. There'll be one for like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Halloween. So, uh, you know, I mean, and trying to just figure out how they work and stuff. I mean, this was like making this like 40 bucks. So like instead of tipping me $40 today, someone could just buy the NFT, same thing, right? But you get like a, a limited edition NFT that will be burned where you won't gain access. You won't be able to buy it ever again. So it'll just be there. And it's like the Easter of 2021. So whatever, just point that out. So if we just want to look at the daily, you know, take out a lot of these candles, here it is, right? I mean, where you were building positive momentum, now you're not, you barely engulfed yesterday. And uh, the good news, I guess, would be on the daily, you might get a close above $57,489, which is good, right? That's where traders set it up, their highest point, February 21st on the daily, on the four hour. So, um, mysteries abound, you know, and a lot of altcoins are up substantially today after the sell-off, right? None, none, I mean, a few, a handful of coins are up like higher, but everything responded pretty much to Bitcoin selling off some yesterday. Right. If you go to Ethereum, you can clearly see that uh, two thousand dollars is being regarded as support now, first time ever. There is absolutely no seller exhaustion at these levels. I, I mean, it wouldn't even be that big of a deal if Ethereum went to nineteen fifty eight to back test the high from February nineteenth as support. It didn't do it, so it's two hundred. It's two thousand dollars for now being held, and um, eventually. 
if Bitcoin cycle doesn't majorly reverse the downside, right, for all crypto. $2,500 target makes too much sense, right, with a 1618 being right at that area, and then 3K after that. So uh, you're just on the last wave, right? X, A, B, C, and now C to D. It's your largest wave. The bearish deep crab, really strong pattern. I mean, really strong wave analysis to where like, we've seen these time and time again in this cycle on, on smaller S coins that they've gone nuts after these are created. It's just the deep retrace on B and then the higher low after that. Okay, so what was once resistance kind of is support now. And there's a lot more upside assuming Bitcoin just doesn't crash or something, right? I mean, Bitcoin could just go sideways, you know, and these alts got a real good chance of going much higher, especially Ethereum that's clearly beginning to outperform. So, okay, Ethereum, let's look at the weekly. It will be the highest weekly candle close of all time. It will be a weekly bullish engulfing candle. Fantastic. Uh, the upside, I mean, from what it's doing, this is like a continuation, right? When you consult, like you have a, you create an all-time high, then you sell off for four or five weeks, and then you bullishly engulf and you make the highest high of all time on the weekly close. That's a huge deal. That's a really strong uh, form of price action that could certainly gain follow through price action, right? I mean, like maybe you spend a, a week back, you know, just dojiing, right? Just like up and down, it, not much movement, maybe back testing, you know, 2000 as support on the weekly uh, before you then mark up to 2500. But this is just really strong. I mean, five weeks, man, five weeks of consolidation. And it's more than, and it's just as much time for Bitcoin as well. Okay. So, could see at much higher levels. Wouldn't be surprising. Okay, Ethereum. Sweet. Let's see here. Yeah, and, and just if you, it doesn't really matter, but if you look at the monthly, right? Last month, you know, four days ago, largest candle close of all time. Obviously, you're getting like immediate fall through price action on, on the new month of April, which is historically like one of the best performing months that exist, period, for crypto. So, cool. It all started with a confirmed double bottom. They could have seen, seen hey, much higher levels, but levels this high, holy crap, you know, it's insane. I mean, if anything, like, really, dude. Huh. Ethereum could be really close to showing hidden bullish divergence on the four hour on Ethereum. Okay. Like, really close. Like, you make this low, you've just got a higher low back test. What was once resistance as support on the four hour? It's actually not psychological. It's visible what's being back tested here, right? You can clearly see it, and uh, just right here. I mean, you got a low on price and a much, much higher low with higher levels of negative momentum. That's a form of hidden bullish divergence. So, uh, continuation could be implied here. Which, again, if Bitcoin doesn't dump, I, you could definitely see it happening, right? I mean, that's. Sky's the limit on this, but it's just the wave is really, it's a long wave. That's not much pullback either, really shallow. So, but if this all of a sudden, right, all the bids come in at this level, that's form of confirmation to market participants that the bottom's in and it's about time to continue this price discovery. Okay, it's, it's ludicrous in a good way. I think the music might be too quiet now. Could get audio checked by a mod. <clears throat> Let me know. 
So that bearish divergence uh, ended up playing out eventually, and what happened? You dumped to 195, a critical ice line from 2018 that was once you know, resistance back then. Then it was resistance in February, up thrust, resistance, support, 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 resistance. Now support, and oh, it's much clearer on the four hour, way clearer than Ethereum, where there's hidden bullish divergence. But I did ping patrons about this much earlier today, where dude, there is so much hit four hour hidden bullish divergence all over these charts. It's not just Litecoin and Ethereum, maybe. Uh, there are just countless S coins showing this type of uh, stuff. Okay, so. If the TA is respected on the four hour, a continuation would occur. It's holding above the 200 moving average and an ice line. That's not bad, right? You, you, you're finally back testing that support. Okay, if it does hold, the target would be 228 again, right? At 228, now you could reverse there again. That's definitely where it's reversed multiple times before. You break that, you go to 250 most likely. So, okay. Hot coins looking pretty interesting. They reacted off these 786, 886 levels and they never got confirmation. They just went. And it, that was just the tough part about this recent cycle of reversal. Like the reversals are happening without confirmation. Most of the time throughout this entire cycle, we've been getting tremendous amounts of confirmation, right? Just here. I mean, you could either said January 22nd or January 31st was a form of confirmation at the PCZ of an XABCD, right? Uh, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, or just one bottom, two bottoms. Doesn't matter, neckline was 145, and look what you did at the neckline, right? You broke it, you back tested it once, then more precisely you tested it the second time, and what happened there on that second, this was a trade setup, it went straight up to the next resistance. So, hey man, there were much more fun times. This one, you know, didn't really have much uh, of, a, of a confirmation, but Bitcoin, I remember, and Ethereum and other altcoins had way more forms of confirmation, unlike Litecoin, but Litecoin was doing something unique in showing very clear, concise, classic bullish divergence at that pattern completion zone. A lot of assets weren't showing that, some did, but uh, that's what's made it tricky. Um, a lot of these altcoins this time around weren't really showing classic bullish divergence, nor were they giving us a confirmation low. So it made it really tricky being like, oh, great time to go long, right? Even like when it looked like Bitcoin was showing bullish divergence March 25th, it was like, hey, we could get a relief rally, but I don't know if it's going to be the rally that gets us all the way back up, and it, and it did. So it just happens sometimes that way. Then that might be more of a bullish bias. You know, if you can't even get confirmation and it goes much higher, and it, you know, this one can't even get to the 886, really strong. Have Easter. Yeah, I mean, still a good time to join the Patreon if you want. Uh, oh wow, someone bought an Easter EFT or NFT. Thank you, whoever you were, for purchasing that. Uh, who was that, man? Oh, Trent, dude. Thank you, Trent, for the uh, first and possibly only NFT per I mean, like 15, minted 15. I don't know. I mean, I don't think enough people even know how to utilize a MetaMask wallet or even know what Rarible is yet. So, I mean, why am I going to be making a thousand, you know, mints of this coin or this of this NFT, right? It's 15, whatever. Probably, I mean... I did seven on the last one, but this is like substantially cheaper. I'm trying to get these prices way down because it's like if it's collectible, you know, I want it to be like multiple people can participate in this and it's not like, you know, the that first NFT I did or the even the Elon one, all right? So yeah, things are looking pretty good, but you understand, right, the things I'm talking about and how it's different. Let's look at uh, Dash. That's up 21.62% today. Fantastic. This is a good one, man. This was a really good one. And look at it now, man. Look at this huge bullish engulfing candle, right? This is this is exactly where you want to see double bottoms occur, okay? Right, and clearly right after a Wyckoff accumulation range that lasted for mother of God, like two and a half years, you broke out 
And then this is pretty much the backup in a way, like the backup of the range maybe. Really strong, one bottom, two bottoms, and then you were diverging on that second low. I mean, this was definitely one I liked that thought was good because you had daily confirmation. And so uh, yesterday you bearishly engulfed and a bamboozle candle right after, which is a bullish engulfing. And so it broke the neckline at 255, but 280 is there. You know, it, you're gonna have to break that. You break 280, most likely you're going to 363, no problem. What's up, Gavin Crown, man? Dude, thank you for the Jesus Chimes, man, and the $100 contribution. Just popping in. Like, Gavin you mean just hopping in? Wouldn't that be much more appropriate thing to say because of rabbits and Love Easter and night. eggs? Just hopping in. Thank you, dude. Really appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you're having a good one. Gavin, man. Seriously, that's big time. I don't know if we're going to get to 75K, man. We got uh, less than a month. That's a tall order, sir. You just never know, all right? So dash, breaking the double bottom, but we know there's a little bit of resistance 280, you break 280, you're, you're going to 363 most likely. Okay, so this isn't over, but what a, I mean, this is kind of like one of the best performing assets today of all of them, you know, I mean, they're like WRX, like, wow, dude, this thing was up like almost 200% earlier. It's only, it's still up 157%. That one had been going nuts. So uh, really good to see some of these coins. Hold up, hey, Hex is up 10% and you know where Hex is. We, we gotta go to Hex, man. That's a, that's a position trade setup. You're, you're there, man. Dude, you're about to have the highest daily candle close of all time. Like if Hex closed right now in an hour and 30 minutes, it will be the highest candle close of all time. Just slightly above the first, the, the was the Gavin record holder. Gavin $25. Just get to 65K and I'll still top the top donut. Won't be a full BTC though. Re Anyways, Gavin now, hop in, out. Hi Gavin, man. We're all here. Chat, you're witness to that. We'll see what happens, man. All right, thank you for the consideration. Whether you do it or not, I'm still grateful. You've gone above and beyond as uh, someone who supports this channel and all that. So thank you, man. Jeez. 65K chat, you heard it here. It's only, what, we're only like 7,000 away. Just get back about 58,367. I'm gonna feel a lot better. I'm gonna feel pretty good again. And I like, I do like how whacked out the four hour histogram looks on Bitcoin. It's kind of just like, it could be maybe hidden bullish divergence too, but it's not. But man, it's just prolonged negative momentum with very little selling. And you just did sell off and you're just pivoting now and you engulfed, right? And you're just flirting with this 58,000 range again. It's just, it's not really that bad. I mean, the four hour on Bitcoin. So anyway, uh, one thing that's really important on Hex, man, you're about to get your highest weekly candle close again right last week was the highest candle close of all time for the week the weekly candle each candle here represents seven days you're about to do it again but what's so special is how close you are to an insane run dude i'm telling you this looks i mean xrp is now the one on deck it's not as it's really well developed but it's not as close as this one we're well off the entry now uh, for hex that trade setup but uh you break 1.9 cents, dude. Just look out. It'll be like, oh my God, uh, Richard Hart, he's on CNBC now. Like whatever, you know, four cents is the target. I mean, it sounds crazy, but uh, this is almost in a way like, you know, one valley, two, three valleys. And on the third valley, it's like a double bottom. <sighs> Tremendous amounts of accumulation and it hasn't taken off yet. Okay, you're just now barely overbought. Where before we had seen on the weekly like 87, so you could see 87 again, but at much much higher levels. Anyway, we're just looking at the charts. I mean, people are like, "Hex is a scam." I, I don't know. I don't really care. I'm just looking at what. This is the psychology of buyers and sellers. The psychology is there are they're continual, like consistently there are more owners of this asset than before, and it's really methodical and it's like composite operator stuff where people are just sleeping on it, man. You know, it looks like a double bottom here, but like from beginning of January, 
uh, up until like mid-March, it did nothing really, ups and downs, right? But now it's matured and uh, it just, look, this week, Hex has back-tested what was once resistance October 26th as support for the first time ever. So you broke out technically and now you're back testing a, a form of breakout as support. Okay. All I can do is tell you about it, whatever. All right. Ooh. So, uh, yeah, there are other things that are doing stuff across this market. Like, listen to this, man. OMG coin. That was like a trade setup early last month that has blossomed into its craziness. Um, look at the weekly on this, dude. OMG was looking good on the weekly. 641 being broken more convincingly than last time right last time in early february the asset broke out then immediately said nope closed the week below that high and then sold off to do what though unfinished business after it broke out in february let's go uh ricky bobby man one up and gavin i in the freaking chat dude thank you ricky man yeah we'll get x y I will do it. Can you take a look as I owe things, bro? Of course. Sorry, I lose my wings every time I take a sip of this coffee. I try to do that off camera. So, uh, OMG, right? The old, this is the range, I think. No, no, the 440 was the they top, the and you back tested and held it at support for Ryan again. They say it's the internet of blockchains. Tom. Sure. Uh, silence. Thank you for the 20 and the interesting way you spelled it. Thank you, dude. Yes. We'll look at it. So, um, what's happened to hit a 78% retrace from its all-time high back from August? Well, I think, I don't even know if it was all-time high. It, this, there's probably way more data. This is Coinbase. Dang, man. So, this probably not all-time highs, but from that high to low, 78% retrace and that 100% retrace is $10. At this level, man, I think eventually this is where it really starts going. OMG's got lots more upside potential, as you can see. It's just kind of now really breaking out. Dang, Ricky Bobby, man. Man, just like that. All right, Gavin, I'm winning now. Well, he hopped out of here, so I don't. He probably isn't around to retaliate, but. Uh, Let's just act like he is here, and he just was shaking in his boots. Okay, Ricky, Bobby, if you ain't first, you last. If you ain't Bitcoin, you're an S-Coin. Puggalo's Pizza. We are pizza. I don't know, I gotta say it. So, uh, not only that, I mean, OMG, like, back in September and December, kind of like double bottom stuff, where you had the lows down here, then you confirmed the higher low. Right, the, the accumulation was confirmed with the double bottom, and uh, it's been going really well since then. So I think there's still more upside, eventually $10 again for OMG if this keeps up. You could spend uh, next week back testing 641 as support, so you can't rule that out because that was definitely the range top. You know? And so you back test it, hold it before going to 10. And then if you ever broke 10, you're going to 12, 18. Gold mean ratio is almost $15, man. Nice. All right, so uh, we had a couple requests here. Bow your sensei. Hmm. Do you what kind? Do you want XYO to BDC? There is no US dollar pair, unfortunately. So wow, it's up four percent today. Uh, wasn't really much to look at at all. Look at the weekly. I bet um, you gotta wonder: was there really nice price action correlation here? It doesn't not on the weekly. I mean, this thing just was terrible, and then it wasn't terrible. So what could happen here is this asset back tests 911 sats eventually. 
right? That's your range between 200 sats and 911 sats. So you think next week it could very well back test. What a huge run. It's up 232% this week alone. 232, yeah, bonkers, out of this world, like nothing I could do. And this is certainly not a long area right now. This is, hey, if you got out of these lower levels, hey, congratulations on your, your huge moonshot and your very real breakout. So go to the daily. Was there any kind of, nope, there wasn't even a spring back test, unfortunately. Yep, nah, you didn't really get much of a, you gotta, it was like resistance, 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 and that huge engulfing candle, and there was so much demand, not enough supply, either war, that it couldn't come to back test. It was very close to back testing the ice line, but didn't. So, so you're not always gonna get that perfect, you know, that perfect uh, back test. Most of the time you do though, but uh, this also could have been a hindsight butterfly, this is for education purposes. Let's see if this was a butterfly. Oh my God, it could have been textbook. Holy crap. So, almost, man. It was so close to being a butterfly, man. Look at it. Like 78% retrace on B and a lower high. That's Those are the key characteristics of the butterfly. Right, 70%, very deep retrace on B, and then a lower high on C. And look where you went. You made a 122% uh, retrace. See to the gold mean ratio on B to C, and you didn't make it to the 1272. So, man, it was almost specimen, though. And that's what we're talking about, the bullish stuff, man. Remember? We're talking about uh, a sell-off, then a deep rally, and then a higher low. And then that's really bullish waves. Those are really bullish, uh, just, I don't know, signification on the chart, what's happening. And uh, look at the rally you got if you were looking at it like that. But it was inverse. It was like doing the opposite of what like Ethereum's doing right now, what GRT's done before, what many of these have done. So um, pretty cool, but not quite there. So could still identified it and, and been pretty close. But there, see, the problem is there wasn't really too much of an edge down. Look at the freaking RSI hit 0.11. What? Like really whacked out. I don't know, man. This must be just a liquid or something. But dude, no, it hit zero, and it flatlined. Has, has anyone ever seen that? Uh, the RSI on the daily flatlining because it hit zero. Wow, are we just witnessing history. At least I am. I've never seen that. Like, that's crazy, dude. Sir, we can't get any more of our soul. We're literally at zero. Okay. Anyway, move along, sir. Yeah, maybe back to us to 911 sats, but I don't know anything else till then. This, this is nuts, okay. Yeah, next request is Adam. Uh, this was amazing back in the day, you know, back in December. God, there were so many incredible opportunities. It was countless opportunities. Now it's like, things are so high. It still looks okay. I'm really digging. I love it, man. I love the engulfing candle happening today, up 7.5%. But what do I really love? Well, we just talked about it, dude, just now. XA, and what's, what's B doing? B is such a deep retrace, right? 82%, like 78 to 88%, that's so deep. Then the higher low coming after the deep retrace, okay? So you might now uh, be in the midst of that last wave, which is the largest, right? And those take you to 1272s, 1414s, 1618s. Right, 1, all the way up. I mean, a 1618, the top end of this butterfly is like 3370 or so. So yeah, I mean, very bullish price action on Adam to the US dollar. Finally, it has been doing nothing since uh, Valentine's Day. Nothing, man. Had the buying climax and just sideways. So maybe now, like one valley and a second valley, you got uh, confirmation lows. And really, in actuality, it was textbook class B bullish divergence. It was so rare in these market conditions because it's just like, in order to get classic bullish divergence, you have to make a lower low or the same low and this made a slightly lower lower trader set it up in that somehow it 
it happened. It, it, it developed. And so from that development, look, bullish engulfing candle and another one going on today. So at least you're thinking eventually uh, to be like 2454. I would think that 2619 would be the spot up there and then could go much higher. So Adam looking good after a decent amount of um, consolidation for, I don't know, what, six weeks or so. And it's in a very bullish trend, Minus obviously. $25. FSR. Thank you. What's up, uh, Smitty man? Thanks for 25 shirt. Sure, we'll look at it. Okay. Hey, this is an old old trade on Adam. Let's get rid of that. It was like, remember that dude? It was uh, why would we take a long right there? Because it was springing and back testing the spring after the third low. Three lows, man. The the rule of three. 0.009669 Happy Poppy Easter. Oh, nice one, J. Mike. Thank you. Yeah, EOS. We'll look at it. Sure thing, dude. There is potentially lots of upside if the macro stays bullish, right? This would never happen if the macro reverses bearish, like Bitcoin actually has done, which doesn't look to be the case right now. Um, this, this has some good upside still on it, at least on the daily, all right? might cool off and pull back and be down two three percent tomorrow the next few days and and it could even come down to just to make another higher low than the previous low that's fine too but eventually as long as it makes that higher low than 17 bucks it's going to pivot and rally and the wave is going the long wave is going to continue okay there's your adam silence thanks for 20 i think there are multiple assets that look similar in their wave structural development right now Wow, is that real side girl? Holy crap. Trinity no way. Been with Mitch and the fan for over three years. Three Sounds like the real one. Yard and Mitch's honor. Happy Easter all. Wow. Bruh. Or I should say sis. Thank you, side girl, for uh, being around all this time. Yeah, and thanks for that contribution, of course. But, uh, you know, you were around when really it was more, way more underground. This community was way less what it is now right so uh, thank you for believing in me when a lot of other people didn't know i existed nor did they believe in me at all so thank you side girl Pipe in the chair. i guess right thank you the trinity what is the trinity here well i mean there's the father the spirit and the holy ghost amen but there is for our community, the Holy Trinity, is what? Respecting the technical analysis, respecting position sizing, respecting risk management. Okay. Oh yeah, Fisker Connect. I think I wrecked it. Got wrecked with everything at all time on index funds at all time i was good uh i mean hey that's a that's a really nice potential gartley or something all right just looking at it naked eyeballs i'll go that little right there uh it's too deep man it's too deep but i i think maybe was it someone was showing like this and they were making it like that's still too deep man where's that lowest low right there yeah, I mean, if it was a 618, okay, but 72 is a little too deep for me. 88% retrace. I love 88% retraces, right? That's potential value area after an XABCD. So we can't call it a conventional harmonic, but it's definitely there. Okay. Give me all the sorries. Hold on. Give me the strength and tell me that Easy is still looking like a nice looking girl. Your words. Bought a comfort tea. Thank you. Give me the strength. Oh, you bought the legendary Gartley shirt. Much love. Oh, we can look at it. Okay. So, um, extended amount of selling. You're finally going positive again on the four hour. And I think the daily too. You're below the 200 moving average. And what I don't like about it is the fact that it fell below this 1777, 1820 area and is now regarding it as resistance. So it's below the 200 moving average and that very critical ice line, in my opinion, right? Where you've had, look, I mean, multiple touches throughout its history. No, it's not a very long history. At least the uptrends, you know, at least you're in an uptrend, but uh, 
right? So if, if that is true, then it could go down to 1540, which is just some high from July 23rd. So the, the, the big thing about it is at this area, you're watching for the asset to get back above literally this zone right here. If you get back above it, I think you got a real good shot of going much, much higher. Much, much higher. We're talking at least 2150 if you can get back above 17 or 1820 or so. All right, that's. Super chat at $33.33, rising three on Bam Daily. Can we look, please? What's up, Sam T? Yeah, sure, we'll take a look. Appreciate it. Noise, noise. Could you take a peek at Canaan on the NASDAQ, CAN? Back over 20 again. Happy Easter, hatching chick. Jane Aiden, thanks, dude. For the 25 super chat, yes, we'll do it. Add a list, much love. All right, so unconventional XABCD, 88% retrace is a value area, uh, but I don't think anything matters until it gets back above 1820. When you get back above 1820 and maybe even back test 1820 as support, holy crap, that, that's it, man, right there. Okay, that's that could be a real good spot to take along, but uh, you're doing not that yet. So it could be just, let's wait for a second wait for some more data at these levels like you bear seeing engulfed on Thursday uh, but uh, really nice potential hidden bullish divergence of some sort right where you're losing the negative momentum to continue to develop but again bear you know there's a bearish engulfing candle literally in the last daily close it's not a buying signal add a critical resistance rejecting it so maybe you go and you test that 200 day moving average which is literally right at that support resistance zone Okay, where it's been consolidating there for like, you know, 10 months or so, nine months. All right, so maybe that, that might be a more prudent long area, as we know it's not a conventional XABCD. Noise, noise. Happy Easter, Mitch. Can you please look at Cody slash USDT? I'm still learning, but I think I see some bullish harmonics on the four hour in the daily. Thanks. Dan M, thank you, dude. Yes. Yes is the word. Thank you, man. Let's see, next one, AOS. That has had, uh, it's been doing really, really well. Extremely well. Okay, let's just start out on the daily, why not, man? This was very solid accumulation going on locally, at least since late February. And uh, it's finally taken off, right? It broke out literally broke out October 7th like so many other coins actually it was in August but uh, October right was doing nothing chopping around up and down up and down everyone lost their patience with it including me and so then it had a, its big markup ran up to just a critical resistance from February of, of 2020 then sold off and just been back testing all these levels as support once and then twice right and you got that higher low double bottom and that's like deep crab stuff right not deep crab just normal crab like re think about it like an x a b c d right x a 80 percent yeah that's a that is a just normal crab uh, once six one eight so it's not even at the pcz yet pcz of a bearish crab pattern would take ye all the way up to like 707 so it hasn't hit 666 yet which is a support resistance for real from uh, September 2018 and July 2018 so you think it could go and test that uh, as it look what it did crazy bamboozling going on in, in ways right where uh, going on a nice run and then yesterday bearishly engulfed miserably but that bearish engulfing closed at an old area that was once resistance it became support and today just lots of bids coming in so there could be forms of confirmation going on right now on EOS for at least to see 666 at that point I don't know but um that's definitely real right there and then the skies start getting a lot bluer and a lot clearer at these levels right down here it was there's just too much chop but once you break through all that congestion man then it starts getting a lot easier for the asset. it would be a lot easier for the asset to rally right between 530 and 666 it's normally straight up straight down so um, if you ever get above 666 682 that zone that's where things go nuts all right, if you break 682 for real, convincingly, you're probably going to 858, and then after that, 943. Okay, so if you just look at the monthly here, probably looks incredible. Oh, it does. Oh my God, Adam and Eve, beautiful Adam and Eve. 
I really round it out too. That's gorgeous. And so the upside is stupid on EOS, all right? The top of the, this is a potential double bottom. Looks very similar to what Ethereum looked like before it went nuts and many others, right? So 866, you break 866. I mean, you wanna talk about measure moves on the monthly here? $16 roughly, 17, or I'm sorry, 15, 78. All right, that could be in store for EOS if you're patient, if, if we get like, you know, six more months possibly or, or a year. Um, it's just really, really developing well here. Okay, one bottom and now a second bottom. We're talking the first bottom was in December 2018. The second was in March of 2020, COVID crash. So you're creating a second, a confirmation low and you're rallying off of it. So on the monthly, there's no resistance until that 866 area. So you're gonna chop around, but eventually you could make it there, no problem. Okay, EOS, there you go. J Mike's. Oh yeah, I mean, Tia Tetris and ways like, yeah, look at that. Look, I mean, it's, it's so stupid. Look at this chat. You saw me just do what I always do, right? For these measurements, the same thing over and over and plot it from the breakout and look at it. Look how perfect it is. Just that high, that wick high from June of 2018 for EOS on Binance. It lines up perfectly. It is TA Tetris. Jeez. So you can also play the- How would you look at that? It's phenomenal. See what happens. Give me uh, six months to a, to a year. All right. Cumulative $23.80. Yo, Mitch, could you check XCZ slash BTC in four dollars and one D? Thanks. Sure, yeah. 0.1186000 LTC. Yep. Uh, we're going to go to Bingo next because it was a contribution that came in yesterday that uh, I forgot about on stream. So uh, we're going to no look at that right now. Hi. Can you check Zill slash USD? So, please? Ollie. Of course, Ollie. Shamari. Thanks, man. So bingo, bio nano, genomics. Yeah, no, I love the higher low. Uh, so that zone of support resistance looks really good, man. Can you look at that? It's like confirmation low above the 200 moving average. Bullish convergence, very close to divergence, man. Very, very close. I, I love it. Um, and love kind of the way the four hour looks. Right, it's all, it's like, it's a dragon kind of too. A little bit, I mean, look, you got the, the hump right there and maybe the pivot point and you've broken that. So it's kind of tough because it's, you know, normally you want it to be a lot more developed and stuff, but um, this looks pretty good, man. If you get above eight bucks, 1266 can be in store. Not even kidding, man, all right. Right, you had a really nice run, then you had a major correction, a major pullback on this asset, right? That dude, we're talking a 64% retrace. In 23 days, that's a nasty pullback. But that could be value. So it, it reacted at that golden pocket, reacted, got back above that critical critical area. I mean, it's kind of like, right? It's like the old all-time high level around this, that, that's back from October 2018, man. So, September. So one bottom, and now a second bottom. And that second bottom's a little bit higher than the previous bottom. So it's convergence, but so close, it could maybe be argued to be divergence. So I, I don't know if you really wanna be messing with this asset if it falls below what it just created. I mean, 692, it could go down to 570 test the 200 moving average or whatever, but uh, the way this looks here is really good. How about the daily though? You know, cause it could turn into some huge cipher or something and go much, much deeper, but uh, let's let's see if the daily is any help. Wow, daily is like, you hadn't seen positive momentum since February 17th, but that was kind of a joke. It was really since uh, February 3rd.
I like the asset above seven sixty eight and eight dollars. I like it there, but below it, I don't like it. Right? Does that make sense? So if it can, and it did bearishly engulf on Thursday. So if it can stay and sustain prices above this level, I love it. If it doesn't, then it might very well be going down to four sixty five. So it could lose a tremendous amount of value. So, okay, that's your bingo. Buy Bio Nano Genomics Incorporated. All right, moving on. It's not bad, dude. Oh yeah, dude, band was great, right? It was like the double bottom. Oh, you're right. Oh my God, he's so right. Chat. I mean, the wicks are weird, but uh, it's okay, right? I mean, five candlestick pattern potentially. Rising three methods. Okay. Right, one green candle, and it's a continuation pattern. So it was already rallying. So big green candle, then three candles held and contained within the previous first candle, and then on your last candle, on your fifth candle. I mean, it doesn't mean engulfing, but it covers and uh, above all of the previous three candles, and it closes higher than the first candle, which is certainly doing right now. And it's just up against this one resistance back from uh, August 2020. And again, the target on this is like 20 bucks. Like, remember the high? It, it was looking good on the four hour. It was like double bottoming. And there was a harmonic too, I think. A lot of good stuff was going on band. Yeah, it wasn't unconventional harmonic, but uh, yeah, nevertheless, right? It broke out and it didn't quite back test, which is interesting. It was so close to the back test, but didn't happen. And now it's rallying again. And soon, if it breaks a 738 where it's at right now, go to 20 bucks, roughly. So that this is great. And, the, and and look, this is, shows you how bullish the bias is, right? On this market, at least for this coin, where it showed very real bearish divergence. And just that bearish divergence turned into just sideways consolidation, bullish, strong, really strong. Right, and negative momentum just held on, just and and no real selling pressure. I mean, nothing that got it in trouble. Right, everything above 5:30 was really bullish. So you're just at this last point, and if you break it, 20 bucks. That's it for bands. All right, very very bullish trend. And it all started with what? A textbook bullish bat pattern. God. Got your reaction and pretty much your reversal low here and those targets were hit and now it's doing its own thing again right it's like xabcd after a correction uptrend higher lows great man still upside it looks like on ban I don't know if you'll ever recover. I don't know if you'll ever reclaim these eyes, man, up there. I remember looking at this asset, I think down in like November or something. Yeah, I just remember this at much lower levels. I can't even believe what it looks like now. This is ridiculous. So it's like, you know, 1229 was your starting price, your open IPO, November 2019. And so you can see how it's gone nuts since then um yeah hidden bullish divergence manifested into a rally here relief rally but it you know it's got to break 25 46 otherwise you run the risk of a colossal head and shoulders uh so i think you should more so look at like a range between 15 30 and 25 dollars right right clearly reversing here reversing and then reversing up here so if you break 25 46 you're probably going to 36 55 but if you, if you can't, you could very well see yourself right back down at 1531, straight up, straight down, straight up, almost straight down, pivoted, made a higher low, and then broke out to the highest level of all time. So um, there was, actually, it's hard to discern if the four hours really showing that hidden bullish avertance, I mean, from this low to the, about the same low, lower levels of relative strength. So, about the daily, any help? Yeah, really nice hidden bullish divergence on that daily, at least the RSI, and the MACD looks pretty good, though it doesn't look perfect. Right there. 
So it is continuing. And, but it's just like now a question of will there be enough buyers in this asset that would br make it be able to break above 2546 because there's going to be resistance there. There's going to be sell orders there. It's just all about if there's enough buyers to absorb that supply that will be here. And if, it, if there is enough demand or buyers to absorb that supply, then I think you are, probably are going to 3655 to $39. But at the same time, it's like head and shoulders could develop if you're not lucky here. Okay. Hey, if you're enjoying the live stream, hit the like button, bell up. So thanks so much for being here, everyone. All right, I know it's Easter Sunday, but um, you know, thanks for the 1,166 here. Thanks for the 348 likes. Appreciate it. Thanks for the likes, love, support, contributions today, and thanks everyone, the, the new members who have joined the Patreon. Really appreciate it. When the neckline's broken, the neckline is certainly 1531 right there, right? Obviously the base of buying, if it, uh, it's always a potential pattern until it breaks the neckline. When it breaks that neckline, then it's a confirmed head and shoulders, normally back test, and then it's sell off to lower prices. But it's still in its development. It may not be that at all, right? It may not be a potential head and shoulders at all yet. It's almost arrogant to say it is because what if it, it rallies and just goes up even higher, you know, like just blast through it like it was nothing. It's not really that strong a resistance because there's it was only created like one or two times. So you just don't know yet. Um, it's still in development. OK, that's what I'm saying. It's all about the ifs. If it can break 2550, it's probably not going to be a head and shoulders, but a potential head and shoulders. You really want to start seeing a reversal at 2546 if you want to see it come back to that neckline again and test it. And even when it comes back to the neck, neckline, if it did, it still wouldn't be confirmed until it broke it. It could, like, dude, what will happen is these beautiful potential bear structures will develop in this all-time high bull run, right? And then everyone's like, oh, God, it's all over for this asset. Then this happens over and over and over. It's been happening. These bearish patterns have been a lot of times unreliable. And that's what happens. That's why it's like you're not normally not looking to short anything when the macro is bullish, when the sector is bullish, and then the underlying asset itself is bullish, right? You're looking, okay, it might reverse because bearish divergence, bearish divergence uh, ushers in a, a reversal, but eventually you're looking for a long because you don't want to be fighting that trend. You want the trend is your friend, and if it's a bullish trend on the SP 500, the NASDAQ, the Russell 2000, Dow Jones. And then let's we'll say uh, technology or semiconductors in a long-term sustained uptrend, and the asset itself, CAN is also in a bull trend. Oh man, you're you're going three for three there. You never want to be trying to take shorts in those uh, market conditions. That's it. So what's the next one? Um, All right, so one of the 15 minted tokens sold. I take it that will probably be the only one that sells, right? Thank you, Trent. Support and stream. At least instead of just tipping me, you get a limited edition Mitre TA egg, right? Whatever, man. It's like merch, but not, you know, it's. People support the stream anyway, right? I mean, you could look, you could literally buy one of these and then like request something and be like, hey, I just bought one of these and I'll see if you bought it and be like, hey, could I look at this? And it's like, oh, sure, yeah, whatever, man. Yeah. Like it could be like a piece of merchandise. Like someone tips and buys or they buy merchandise, they can request something too. So, all right. It's like virtual merch, virch merch. Nice. Our next one was um, Cody. Yeah, I don't like. I mean, in a position like this, uh, so high and just made like a triple top, double top. I mean, let's, let's see here. 
So Paul and thanks to Yep, it had a false breakout, right? False breakout. It was more like X, A, B, C, and then went up to a 7, 8, 8, 8, 6 and reversed. Yeah, but maybe it's, um, kind of reminds me, wow, there is kind of a harmonic here, isn't there? It's like a shark in a way, right? X, A, B, C, D here. And at least the PCZ is happening like on a higher low. Yeah, that, this one crapped out. This is all time hot, right? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so trading range. It's kind of like your trading range is, is in between 36 cents and 48.9 cents. You're up thrusting through it. But look, I mean, you can see it created here March 8th. And then I regard it again March 26th. So um, it, it, you had a demand line, you broke that demand line, right? Um, it's making higher lows, but it's like there are better looking assets out there for trades. This is okay, but uh, again, I nothing's really sticking out to me as like amazing. But uh, 36 cents, right? If that's the, top, the bottom of the range, kind of, you're kind of near the bottom of it, I guess. And um, there was bullish divergence for real, right? I mean, from this low to the lower low, where traders set it up, I mean, that was definitely real. So, impending price action reversal is being applied right there in an uptrend. So, your bullish indicators can be reliable and can outperform. So, just thinking like in the short term, sharkish stuff. We had 100% retrace. Yeah, it happens, man. Sometimes you get 100% retraces on sharks. So yeah, I mean, this this could be if if it's gonna it's reacting. It obviously reacted at 100% retrace, but um, you know, 113% would be the best case. If we could ever see 35.4 cents, be textbook and beautiful, and there'd be no question about it. But between the 886, 100%. We've seen harmonics, or we've seen sharks hit the 100%, and that's it. Per example was AMC. All right, real quick, see Cody right here, and you go to AMC. Right here, literally right here, okay? Right, the higher high, and the didn't matter about what the retrace was, but then 100% retrace, like 98%, 99% retrace. And then, but see, the thing is, right, eventually it double bottomed, created a dragon, hidden bullish divergence, like all these things happened before it went nuts. But um, I'm just trying to show you kind of like, hey, sharks can hit 100% and reverse there forever. So that's what you look for, right? You want harmonics develop, you get a reaction, and then a reversal low, two bottoms, not one. And currently, Cody only has one bottom, right? Wrap teeth repair. Yeah, this is one of those. You're on the other side of the fence, man. Yeah, it's bullish divergence going on. But dang, dude, it's just hard to not see the X, A, B, C, D stuff, you know? Like where it could go much deeper. It's well above that 200 moving average. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't touch it yet. I would not touch this yet. It's not at any strategic level. It could reverse here, sure, but it does seem like there could be more downside. You know, like on the daily, there's truly like no support at all until like whatever this number is. Is it like 5.7 million wrapped waves? Jeez. Smitty took $25. Smitty took $25. thank you. Dude, so much sacrilege be chaining me or uh belushing me on the Lord's Day. The Lord's Day, right? Wow. I will pay that off. I just don't know. Right now, I'm not doing it right now, I'm doing a prolonged fast for Easter. 
and because I got kicked out of keto yesterday, so. What's up, Gavin, man? Gavin Crown took $25. A vax, please, for my boy, Reef. Dude, Gavin, did you not? Were you, you hopped out of here. Did you not see that Ricky Bobby one upped you? Like, literally, and called you out for it? Did you miss that? Thank you, man. Yeah, OVR, man, I'm sorry, like, uh. Biagio, but I don't see any opportunity for a long that consists of coinciding variables at levels that make sense, right? This is, it had a huge run, dude, and it's correcting. And the cor corrections are not events, they are process. It is a process, okay? And you're just going through it, and it could go much lower if you want lower risk areas. Now you're just buying randomly at random areas where there's no support historically. So I would just leave it alone. There's better things that exist out there. That's just me. Though. You can do anything you want. And hey, man, it could just go up. It could randomly pump 100% tomorrow. Sure, dude. But if you're talking about trading, playing the numbers game, you want an edge on the market. There isn't really an edge. Negative momentum's at all-time highs or all-time lows, really, I guess. The highest level of negative momentum. And your RSI isn't implying anything yet. Okay, so you need way more data. Moving on. Oh, that one? Okay. Oh, yeah. It says it's the BDC. The shark? Yep. It's the shark. The weird, scuffed-looking shark. But nevertheless, 88% retrace. And, yeah, I think the upside's tremendous. I, I see... Uh, Kind of pretty much accumulation. I mean, like not this low here, but like from these this low and this low, this is almost like a double bottom happening at the pattern completion zone of the shark. So wow, some confirmation on this Bitcoin pair. But it's this is not the only one that's looking interesting, right? You, you now have like so accumulation, and you're about to break above uh, this 881 area. Oh, dude, Tezos could moon suit. I mean, at least this pair. If Tezos breaks what it's about to break, 881, it's two Satoshis off of its resistance right now, right? If it breaks that, you could do the same thing it did February 14th. I mean, the target literally on Tezos to BDC right now is 1188. If you break 1188, you're going to 1436 sats. And that's not even, that's there, it's resistance. It's kind of like a little zone right there. Yes, this one looks good and it looks better now. It, it was okay. We identified it, but now it's a dang, man. Now you've got a confirmation low. And look at this, dude. It just gets better and better. Daily bullish divergence on the confirmation low of the shark. So it's it's playing out, but now it's like all you got to do is just one more thing. It's just break above 881. Could see 1188 very, very fast. And if you ever break that... Off something like this, you can definitely see 1500 sats eventually. So, looks great, dude. Pretty strategic area for a harmonic to develop that could usher in a reversal, man. Okay, nice one, dude. Okay, next one. No one. Glass no cough tip twenty-two dollars and twenty-two cents. Happy Easter. Can we look at DGB slash Happy USD? Easter. Thanks. So Kalishnikov. Sure they will look at DGB. Someone slap on that stupid logo. There's gonna be a logo on the Tezo chart of DGB for some stupid reason. That's their universe. Weird. Thank you. Yeah, this one looked amazing. I'm so surprised, dude. And, uh... Alright, the time we were looking at it was here. This was the time we were we were looking at it, right? Or maybe, no, it was here. Yeah, it was literally here. Is that a joy? 
Double down, oh my god, how about the Chatter School? Dang, man. Love you, Mitch. I'll be here for the good days and bad. Your patron has made me such a better trader. Thank you. Double down, thank you so much for the 420. Um, and I'm, I'm taking it that wasn't Gavin. Even though Gavin is notorious for the 420 Elon ball, emoji ball. Thank you, Double Down. And I'm so happy to hear that the Patreon has helped you hone your abilities and your skills right in this world of trading. This journey we're all on. It's better to be on a journey with people than to do it alone. And that's what the Patreon is, right? All right. Thank you. Weird right there, home. Huh? Oh, now y'all broken the jar, it seems like. Totally legal, exactly. Oh, sorry, I have to do it. Is that a joint? So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, this thing's just been doing tremendous. This was it, okay? I mean, like, this is all patrons at everyone was pinged the date of February 28th at everyone. Zill is back testing what was once resistance as support, kind of for the second time. And I was like, I'm pinging you because I want you to see what can happen when price action correlates this way. And look what's happened. It's manifested into, in 35 days, 125% appreciation of value. That is literally, see what happens, Larry? that's what happens, Larry. So that's, that's what I try like identifying that type of stuff for you. So you, it can be actionable for you as a swing trader. Maybe not, right? Maybe, maybe not. It's like up to you. There's a lot of opportunities that could be out there. Some play out and some don't. Care you, mom. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, Dirty Tricks. Thanks for the 20. Really appreciate it. So it's not just like, you know, think about uh, kind of the one bottom, two bottom thing. It's like one bottom. Right, where traders set up their highest point, February 13th. Look, it was tested once, then twice, two times. And on the second time, that confirmation low, big rally. And you're just going, you're at all time high. It's up 20% today. What's up, B-dubs, man? Let's go. Thank you, B-dubs. B-dubs tipped $100. Passing it forward on Easter for free analysis in the chat box and cool, if not all good. Happy Easter. In the chat box, where are you at, B-dubs? Oh, okay. So someone's, uh, so you're saying like someone in the chat. Okay, I'm looking at the first one that was posted. Cake, all right, cake. We'll look at cake. Because literally, right? So I interpreted what you read and it was the first thing that popped up. So, sure, we'll look at cake. Thanks, Beatups. And I'm sure that uh, Captain Crypto thanks you as well. So uh, at this point, hey, we just fib extensions. I think it's probably already hit. At least one, right? Yeah, it's it's like at the 1272 regarding it. So after that's 22.7 cents. The gold mean ratio is 23.978. 976 cents. I think 25 cents is like the next target, right? Psychological, you know, your your price discovery, all time highs. I think that's it, man. 25 cents on the dot from here, anyway. So you got fib extensions. You're at one. In the end, just like many others right now that are not performing like Zill, but many others showing this four hour hidden bullish divergence on at least one of the oscillators. Right, impending price action continuation is happening uh, or is, is in development and it happened, right? It, it is continuing. Arabian Club, hi Mitch, mate, can we look at Dash? Yeah, we already looked at it. We'll look at it again if you want, sure, thank you. Thanks, dude. Oh, wow, someone bought. Okay, so two two of the 15 uh, special edition Easter egg NFTs have sold two of 15. Hey, at least I made my money back on the gas fees. Good. Here, I'll just pin the link, I guess. Just people will be like, 
Where's the link or something? There you go. It's pinned to the chat. Remember, I will be burning this in the coming like day or two, so you won't be able to ever buy this again, or have it, or whatever. So that's just something I'll be doing. So think about with these NFTs, there'll be like an NFT um, for Easter, for 4th of July. I don't think there's gonna be another special edition NFT until 4th of July, right? There's no major holidays. And then after 4th of July, there's not gonna be anything until like, I think Halloween, man. So, you know. All right, Zill, beautiful. Next one was Dash. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dash was actually the next request. So I looked at it on stream early in the stream, and now multiple people have requested Dash. That again was exceptional. Hey, look, you remember I was talking about Hidden Bullish Shivers? This was showing up too. Somehow, an impossibility. I don't know how, but. There was a beautiful piercing line. You don't look for this in crypto. It doesn't make sense because markets never close, but somehow on this Poloniex chart, does anyone see this and what could this be? What is this chat? A textbook example on the four hour literally makes no sense why this would exist. Because there was like the, the markets didn't close. Someone tell me this beautiful two Japanese candlestick reversal pattern right here. No, I'm going to get to cake. It's in order. It's in line, right? Cake will be looked at, but it's just like, I can't, I'm not going to look at it immediately right now. It's like, right? People tipped before that. So I'm just going in order. Relax. It'll be good. Yes. Yeah, so we got a couple answers here. Yes. Uh, so Voltaire, it looks like was the first one to get it right. Voltaire and Mr. Lodig at the same time. Y'all did it, man. Piercing line reversal. Exactly. Yes. But the key, key characteristic of the piercing line is you have one red candle and the next candle, the next day, you have a, a lower open than the previous close, which certainly happened here, but I don't know how again, right? So uh, illiquidity or something. So it opened lower and then pierced through 50% to 65% of the previous candle. That's it. And that's your bullish reversal and look what manifested from it. Somehow it worked out and played out beautifully. Incredible. So again, in the end, like hidden bullish divergence developed Pending price action continuation. You certainly got it, didn't you? It's up 21% uh, today. We got 34 minutes till your daily and weekly candle close. If you're enjoying the live stream, the like button, the bell, it's sub. Mega pattern. I mean, mega confirmation lows, right? And an uptrend. I mean, we're talking minimum $300. Even for like, oh, it's a harmonic. I don't think it's a harmonic, but I'm just saying X, A, B, C going on D now, the, the last wave, the large one at least 300 or 318 but if you're talking about like a measured move here of a double bottom it's probably going to take you closer to 337 so there's your dash got two birds stoned at once i mean oops uh not two birds out with one stone because two different contributions for the same asset thank you mr thick and uh mr merch Arabian Club, thank you. Wow, what a name. All right. Smitty, the one who belushied me. So one, don't let me forget about that. Sweet mother of God. Love how it bounced off all that support. Wow. I like uh, this price action Bitcoin's going or getting in the last uh, 30 minutes of the week and day. It's nice. I guess I gotta go to the weekly on tomorrow. Alright, so we uh, look. This was in a. First time when I took you, man. Hopefully I did it good. Really love what you do. Thanks for everything. Can you please have a look at one INCH USD slash Binance on daily? Thanks. 
Sure, Costell. Thanks for the 20, dude. And you said that's your first time tipping? Well, thank you, man. I appreciate it. I'll do my best, man. I don't know if there'll be opportunity. It's like all these are like semi opportunities. Like, oh, like for the disciplined trader, it's really tough, man. I just hated this previous reversal because of the lack of confirmation that we got. Nevertheless, it sometimes happens that way, you know. So, anyway, uh, we'll look at it. But all right, MRO, big deal at 1241. You up thrusted through it last week. Or maybe a couple weeks ago but look 1987 1989 right? i was born in 87 so wow april of 1998 look december 2008 if if mro ever gets back above that dude look out this thing could go insane i'm talking this thing could go straight up to 1790 if it ever breaks 1241 but 1241's like it is the wall, right? The wall, 3,000 feet tall. Warded by magic, okay? Been up for thousands of years, okay? But if you can break it, Westeros is yours, dude. Okay, 1790 is your target. Beautiful bullish hammer last week, or two weeks ago technically now, and a, a nice little fall through. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, this, it, look at 1015, what happened? T 1015, this area of consolidation and congestion that goes all the way back to 1969 was regarded as support, dude. That was the first time it was ever created. And ever since 1969, resistance was created. Look at the correlation you received over and over and over again. It's now support. This is huge for MRO. We're talking MRO could, could literally in the coming weeks gain 60% in value. Yeah, 200 week moving average was tested for the first freaking time since May of 2019. Yeah, dude, MRO is great now. Uh, I think it's it's on the cusp of truly uh, reversing. It's an overall trend that you've been in a bear trend since 2018. Once you break this $14 area, which isn't much of a resistance support, I think it's just correlation to history. Um, it's it's done like you're reversing the overall trend and it could I mean 1790s one target noise, noise. It's like a zone between 1790 and 1872 that's that's where you're headed and that's where one will be like oh if I'm in this now I'm taking profit a little bit of profit at 1790 1872 right taking some off the table because that's definitely where reversals occur right look I mean just like the first time ever in 76 1976 man Straight up, straight down, 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 straight up, straight down. So you know for a fact that if 1241 breaks, it's on, it's going up to 1790, 1872. So buckle up on MRO and the weekly. Uh, one could be holding this and just waiting for that to happen. Okay, there you go, dude. Sorry, man, I get excited when crazy stuff from the 60s and 70s are being back tested as support Whew. do not sleep on mro energy by the way is also the whole sector going bullish again right so now you have the macro right all the index funds are bullish energy is going is reversing to bullish and now you have mro that is about to be reversing to bullish of the trend right beard Okay, we're back. Uh, this is it, dude. You're in an uptrend. You're confirming a bottom. You're showing a bullish shark pattern. Very pretty shark pattern. And now you got multiple higher lows, almost like three rising valleys. Are we are we back? We're back, we're good. Just give, give me a second before I keep going. All right, we're back. All right, cool. So uh, for Reef and Gavin, yeah, dude, uh, the major question is, can this asset summon or usher in enough demand to crack above 3385? If there is enough demand to get this asset above 3385, I think you're going straight up to 42, but it really, I think it's eventually gonna go to $52 and $55. That's it. Yeah, I, I like this a lot, okay? I, I do, in fact, like this. 
I was talking about maybe I'm wrong here, but I, I'm liking what's happening. I like what's happening in the short term. It's like three rising valleys at the, after hitting the PCZ of a shark, pretty much. Okay, so upside, again, 42, 52, 55 on A, V, A, X. All right? A little bit of hidden bullish difference in the RSI on the floor. Okay, so I, I'm good with this. It's been, uh, it's done nothing burger since the 10th of February. And this is a very bullish trend. Another shock. Very pretty. So, Gavin, Reef, do what you gotta do to get us above 3385 so we can then see much, much higher levels. Okay. Prep for Bitcoin too, of course, because Bitcoin would destroy this if it dumps, you know. Yep, oh man, here we go, dude. And before, this is the new thing, right? This is the new asset to rule them all. Yes, yes. Did you bite? All time highs. Very, very member chat. What did I, what I've been talking about the past week or so? Where did the meme of the canary even come from? Right? Deep retraces and higher lows after the deep retrace usher in the last wave. So this is a butterfly, a bullish butterfly. I think the minimum target on this asset is Happy Easter mission, everyone. 10 cents minimum. If it goes, if it's on the really bullish side of things, it could go to a max target of 11.5 cents. There it is. Beautiful bullish structure. All time highs. Okay, we're on the last wave of the harmonic C to D, so the large wave, largest, pretty much. These extension harmonics. It's not all time high, sorry. Um, on this chart it is, there's probably way more data. All right, I'm just going with this, man. I'm going with this and I'm going with the extensions and uh, harmonics, okay? So probably not all time highs, but. Yeah, Digibyte has data on other exchanges, yep. Sorry, sometimes I'll say all time highs, but again, it's just like on this chart it is, you know, so. But man, the time to be looking at this thing was down here, man, the jump across the creek, Wyckoff accumulation, one, two, three. God, so good down there, but hey, so were many others. And now all you can settle for are these crazy looking XABCDs like right ethereum is doing it too anyway moving on beautiful dgb strong very strong all right so the next one was cake for b-dubs and uh it was a nice wild card that was really nice of you oh yeah hidden bullish divergence continues yeah i mean Anything above 1487 is really strong and bullish on cake. Not really seeing anything like, oh my god, it's a great time for a long. This is like, one would, all of you should have been in this anyway if one was going to be asking about it or looking at it, right? I mean, the entry was literally like 10 cents or less, like 9.5 cents. So I think this is, it's doing exactly what makes sense, right? The second profit taking level was like up here. So people took profit at profit taking levels. And so I don't think there's an XABCD going on. Like it'd have to go much lower because it's a lower high, um, too deep, but it uh, could be a double bottom, right? It could literally be like one valley and a second valley, like a form of confirmation, dude. Man. Just imagine, imagine that being like the second low and that's all it needs and it could pull it do what dash is it's like literally kind of doing a mini dash where it could do that next oh this would be close to a canary right because the higher high on b maybe x a b c and then d would be the big wave and that wave would take us to the third target around 29.99 j 
just screwing around, but still. We could be getting a confirmation low. Uh, I mean, you just all this negative momentum and you're not you're making the same low. It's not really bearish or anything. $21. Hey, mate. Love your show. Can you please take a look at KGN on the ASX? Thanks. Sure, dude. Yep. Dude, so, so I'm so proud. My uh, sister and brother-in-law were watching the stream and they saw me do the analysis on uh, MRW. Anyone remember that? Moors? I re looked at it to, dude, it is so gorgeous. It is so beautiful. MRW is a specimen, low risk, high reward opportunity trade setup. That, I mean, it's like, you know, it'd take a while, but it's like an investment position trade because it's on such a significant time scale. But anyway, uh, <clears throat> mini tangent over. All right, so let's see if cake is double bottoming here. Right, just think about it. I mean, just flip the chart over. Oh man, it looks like, oh, it's inverse head and shoulders, but dang man, it's just, it just topped out again. Really? So, I mean, really your cutoff point at this point is uh, below 1487. I don't think you want anything to do with cake below 1487. That's it, dude. Really, I mean, it's just like, cause it could go so much lower if it drops below that. But I'm just saying it's not gonna eventually make a higher low, even in the middle of this range. Okay, so let's, let's see what happens to cake, man. Are we ready? Is it finally time to go higher? Are market participants confirming that the bottom is in? One bottom reaction, second bottom confirmation. Mm. Still active. All right, next one. So much chop, dude. I like this. I like this local stuff. Okay, I love the local double bottom going on. Same stuff we just kind of saw on cake a little bit, right? Like one valley and then a second valley. Look at the 200 moving average as well. Beautiful. And the fact that it's back above this 444 area, which is clearly. Thank you, System Windows, for the 333 three, three repeating, of course. I know you have right my windows. So. You, can you check out Theta? We can. Thank you, Dear Tricks. Something, anything above 444, especially after the second low, could manifest into, I mean, maybe 510, but really, you'd probably be swinging for 554 here, and then 624 after that. Hey, it's Mike, man. Edit, I think upside. Hey, Canary, X, A, B, C, D. All right, let's go with the Canary, dude. Chat. Three dollars and 32 cents, so dude. Super slash US policer 0 0.01603000 EDH. Yes. Nick. Wait, not Nick, sorry. Mike. Sorry, there's I was in the wrong spot on my stream almost. This is the canary! Potential canary, dude. Hidden bullish difference on the second low. So five five eighty four, I mean five ten. If you can break five ten, five eighty four, which is the PCZ of the canary. All right, let's have some fun. Let's not forget this, okay? Hey, someone purchased the, uh, hey, a couple NFT purchases. All right, man. Thank y'all. There, there are now, okay, five people. So, um, Justin, numbers, numbers, numbers. Uh, thank y'all. Oh, bunch of numbers bought two of them. Thank you for that. I really appreciate it. So there are five, or I'm sorry, there are 10 NFT Easter eggs left. So the uh, link to that is pinned to the chat above. Thank you. All right, man, let's, let's, great news, right? When you see, a, when you're an uptrend, long-term uptrend, a lot of consolidation, but man, you make a low, and then you make a, a higher low, and then you confirm that that higher low is real. That's exactly what this is. 
So the upside to me seems like 554 if Bitcoin doesn't just crash next week and go into a bear trend and just make lower lows and dump, right? It does seem pretty promising here on one inch coin just based on the local price action. Mitch, did you play high school football? Hey, it's a varsity athlete. Uh, yeah, I did. Thank you, varsity athlete. Thanks, man. Gonna remain humble here and just say that. That's nothing more. Thank you. All right, next one was uh that. What's up, muddy dude? What's up? Check out the RA if you please. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yes. We'll do it, dude. All right. Oh, no. Yeah. High, high dividend stocks at value areas at PCCs of harmonics with divergence on significant time scales. It's like a blessing. It's like, hey, man, once in a freaking 10 year opportunity going on on a lot of these value names. I'm not even kidding. <sighs> because some of the patterns are like a decade large. Anyway. All right. Uh, I haven't looked at this way back. It's been a while, man. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I remember looking at audio. The last time we like really even looked at it was like, oh, dude, so much accumulation. It looks so good. Cell wall going on. Man, you break this easy, get 40 cents, man. Then it ran up, hit 40 cents, reverse, and then consolidated for a while. And then just has gone nuts, man. It's gone, man. So now at this level, uh, maybe you're double bottoming or something locally, but dude, you are in outer space. I mean, we're talking about an asset that let's just talk about from February 28th to the buying climax peak. In 26 days, the asset appreciated in value 1,346%. Anytime that happens, really tough to ever want to have anything to do with it when it's just, we're talking, we're talking eight days after that happens. It's really tough for me to be like, oh man, time to go long on audio. Oh man, I'm, I would just move along, sir. Move along. Like it just because there's no way to discern if there's low risk here, right? There's no support looking left from history. I just told you what it did in 26 days. Quintuple digit percentage point gains. Unreal. So I would just move on, I mean, and and look for something else at a more reasonable level. Okay, that's, that's audio. But yeah, dude, hey, if bottom's out here, one bottom, second bottom, maybe bullish divergence develops. RSI doesn't really look good. It's so much downside potential. A negative memo could just start building again and we you dump to who knows how low we could go, right? It's really tough to like size up a strategic entry here, okay? Because this thing could go to 194 real fast if this little local bottom, local low uh, is routed. Mitch, why do you and Mods hate Doge so much? I don't know, John. Why don't you ask them? You should ask the Mods why they hate Doge. I don't know. Man, I just can't think of any good puns right now. Sometimes I got it. Sometimes I don't. Hmm. Anyone? Anyone got any good quips or punny responses to that? So on. Gosh dang it, man. Stream almost is ruining this. Uh, thank you, man. I'm glad you're enjoying it. What the heck just happened, man? Oh, uh, okay. Bobby Boucher's mom, man. Everything is the devil to you, mama! I like TA. It makes me feel good. Alright, man. Thank you. 
That's all I can give you on that. Let's get back to these requests, keep them going. It's so tough to keep up sometimes, right? They keep, it's just like when y'all get rolling, woof. He put me to work. Uh, let's see. Hey, Ray Mitch, thanks for that $1 contribution. Uh, thank you, man. This $3 minimum TTS, so. But uh, thank you, dude. Very kind words. So good to tell you. Hey, Mitch. I'm about to refresh the cash. The CTS I slash USD thanks to them. No copy moderator. Born on 1986, making me a tiger on Chinese Zodiac, and I have the name since I found out. Why do I have that? Oh, hold on. Whoops. Oh, it's so much better now. Sorry. My chat box. So much more holy. Um, yes. Born 1986. Are you a tiger in the Chinese zodiac? And you have the name since you found it. So your literal name is Tiger. Mine is birth certificate. It says Tiger. Fantastic, man. Thank you for the 20. We'll look at it. Let me get to that next one. I think it's that. Oh yeah? Did you now? Oh hey, dude, there's only eight left. Wow. Thank you, dude. Jay Nathan and uh noise, noise. Hey, Mitch, can bunch of numbers. Again? Be sure to change your profile to your name if you don't want to be anonymous, right? I can share this. It's like Jake, man. Thank you, Jake. Jay Nathan. Awesome stream tonight. Yeah, we're gonna Dia did, didn't Dia do exactly what it was looking like it was gonna do? It was so bullish. What's up, mods? They hate Do Doge beca because of you. It's your fault. Yeah, dude. Well, I mean, look. You were creating pretty toxic environment, dude. Just being real. I think you know that, too. Like, deep down. Come on, right? So. You just can't be surprised, man. So, just... You can live the fight another day. You just, you can't do that, you know? Like, it was literally like making other people weird and trolly and toxic, and it was just, things were starting to spiral around it. It's just not the route we want to go. So, rip. Yep. It's okay. Happens, man. But the thing is, I bet you money and like all other communities that exist in crypto and trading, you could probably get away with what you're doing and no problem. So there's probably plenty of homes for that behavior. So that's the good news. You know. Noise, noise. Celsius, sell please, mate. Sell is pretty good, man. It's like, yeah, I like sell actually because it's like three consecutive lows now. It didn't hit a... It like hit a PCZ, but not really. Uh, it hit a 786, but it was supposed to be a bad. It was a it was a Bartley, a Bartley pattern. But man, it's bottomed out three times at that area, and it looks like it could be right. We'll, we'll look at it. Sorry, saw that earlier today. Let's see. Next one was um. That one. Australia, mate. All right, Bitcoin really looking strong going into this weekly daily close. Man, I tell you, it would be a blessing from the Jesus man himself if uh, man, LOL. a close above 58367. I was accused of being a copycat by your moderator, Crypto Tiger, and that was clarifying. Love the show, great work. CS. Oh, I know. I think I. Oh, I don't think it went over my head. I, I got it. Yeah, that was funny, dude. Is that a joint? Yeah, we'll look at uh, CSTI. Sorry if I was confusing in my interpretation. But look at this. Look at that uh, emoji over there. Just free falling at uh, one mile an hour or something. This is disgusting, dude. Kit Kogan. What happened, dude? I mean, I'll tell you what happened. An asset that in... 225 days appreciated 625 percent value. Head, head and shoulder stuff wrecked. I've been following all of your advice. Huh? 
Uh, I don't know, dude. Sounds like you're not. Thanks for three stuff. I don't think there's, like, I mean, there's a gap fill on Kogan. At 11.34, that it's probably going to fill. Like, why would it not fill? You're this close. It's It'd be crazy for it to not fill. There's no edge, really, right now. Um, maybe, is there a wedge going on? There could be a, is it is either a wedge or it's a uh, down sloping channel. That looks like a channel, huh? Yeah. Yep, just a down sloping, it's a downtrend. A downtrend. So we just plot like this, the parallel channel tool. Oh, it's perfect. Literally perfect, beautiful. So uh, again, man, no support unless you talk about the gap fill, which only about 22% of the time, gap fills are regarded as support. It could happen, but it, we haven't gotten there yet. So 1134 minimum and then 966 to uh, 999, $10. Is that, that's the area where we're looking for an edge because what was once resistance could be regarded as support for the first time, okay? So I wouldn't worry about it until then. I wouldn't be messing with it yet until more reasonable levels that are more strategic, that makes sense, right? Where you are right now makes no sense to be taken along. Even it, even if it does reverse to the upside, go oh, it engulfed, okay, rallies, okay, buyer induction, you know, makes a lower high than this 2178 and then dumps again eventually. But yeah, man, like maybe it rallies off the engulfing, but it's probably not gonna reverse the overall downtrend it's been in since uh, September now, of last year, okay? Yeah. And think about it, deep retraces, right? We always look for harmonics, right? Well, it's in the midst of painting one. But you know how much deeper it's going to have to go, right? It would have to go, if it was going to hit an 886, $6. It'd have to go so much lower. And there's a gap fill down there, too, around 680. Well, that filled, never mind, that gap filled. So, yeah, man, I just move along, sir. Better looking opportunities all over the place. Okay, uh, next one was. Dude, I can't believe how many requests there are. Holy crap, man. Hey, Mitch, can you check out KMC slash used? Do what I can, man, alright? Do what I can to get there. Thank you. We're at, you know, oof, this is nice. I mean, it could be nice. I, I like the fact that Theta is trying to double bottom at this ice line where traders set up their lowest point on 24th. And you got this going on on the MACD. It's pretty interesting. I mean, you know, this thing has gone nuts, but it's such an outperformer. You gotta wonder, like, is that a confirmation low at an ice line or at a critical support? Or is it a uh, head and shoulders, man? Oof, lower high in the previous side. If you break 1120, you're probably in a lot of trouble. Could be all over. All right, just think about it, you know? Like, you have this huge flip it over, selling climax, and then you go like left shoulder, head, then like right shoulder stuff. Well, yeah, if it holds 1120, then the upside could be tremendous. It could go all, all the way up to 1445. But if it breaks this 1120 area, you better look out because the downside could be real bad. At the same time, you could also, let's see, is there a, a cipher maybe going on? Pretty close. Oh my God, it's so close. Right, a bullish cipher with a confirmation low on theta? Dude, no way. So yeah, it could fail like we just talked about and you could have a long, nasty ride down. But if Theta's trend is to continue, this could be the way we interpret it. And this could be it. This could be the continuation structure. Again, targets like 1445. Well, let's just say targets uh, 1391 to 1445. This is actually pretty interesting man and then if you ever broke out to new all-time highs you're talking 1620 
as a target, and then 1778 as another target. Wow, dude. I'm shocked. You're getting everything you want right here. Everything you want right here. This is kind of a gem. It could, it's a potential gem, right? Definitely a potential gem. This is it, man. Like the harmonic hitting a support, and it's a confirmation, a reaction low, and a reversal low with seller exhaustion. That's that's exactly it, man. Now they don't always play out, but this is it, man. God, I, I don't even know what else I can say. Dang. All right, burn this image in your mind, please, right now. Just okay. I'm seeing this. Wow. Okay. What do you have for me? Let me show you. Just look here. Right, Garley. Right, one bottom, second bottom. Right, Armand, look, you get the buying climax, you sell off, you create the XABCD, and you get confirmation lows. Oh my god! Is that a joint? <laughs> probably can't because it's stuck. I mean, it's legal, right? It's totally legal. Someone tipped 420. Bruh. Not good to smoke weed on the Lord's day. He is risen. Amen. Wow. So we have two. Well, that one unfortunately bounced out of the jar, Gavin. Man, but thank you for the 420 contribution. A new day, a new week has been born, Chad. We've done it, man. Now my dang hair is on fire. We've done it, man. Uh, Bitcoin uh, close the week and daily. Ethereum's highest week again close of all time. Amen. All right. Okay. Thank you, Mitch Ray, for the threes. Bruh. Holy crap. All right. So it's just, dude, over and over and over again. Same, dude, same thing, right? Let's just go to another chart. What's the other chart, dude? What's the other chart, man? Oh, I remember that. Remember the big rally in the cell and the XABCD occurred and then double bottom or inverse head and shoulders, whichever one you would say? Theta's doing that, man. Right now. Literally right now. Imagine only getting 10 emojis posting that. I mean, patrons, if you're, if you're watching this stream, you better be in the Discord because you just got pinged about Theta. You should be looking at it and reacting and being like, dang, man, maybe I'm not taking a trade on this, but I'm sure learning something, maybe. I'm maybe getting value out of what I'm paying for, right? So you're letting me know that that's happening by just hitting an emoji, right? In, in the charts only, where you were pinged. Okay, sweet, dude, let's go to Bitcoin. It is your local on the eights. Oh, I got that. All right, back to people. Okay, so just add that congestion area. It's been regarding it as resistance. It's just chopping, man, up and down. But I'm telling you, like the four hours whacked out. Like that, that MACD is just whacked to where, uh, yeah, that could be hidden divergence uh, or maybe just bullish convergence, you know? So close that, uh, again, you just get right back above it. And if you get back above 58,367, you could just go straight up 60K again, right? All that has to happen, all that Bitcoin needs to do is pivot majorly above the previous low, which is clearly 50,600 and change. That's it. So it could come all the way down to 55K. It'd still be extremely bullish. But if it was to pivot here and get back above 58,300 and change and start rallying, that that is so bullish. The bullish bias is insane there. So you're just kind of at this area where, man, it could make you or break you in the short term. Literally like make you as in this week, it's time to go to all time highs and beyond. Or this is the week where we, we back test it as resistance and then we sell off to 55K or the 200 moving average, right? We're at that point right now. It's a very big deal. 
you got mail. Thank you for the mails. That's the noise of the 56k. Amazing, right? Then we got uh, new patrons joining, but I don't even know anymore. Dude, they're so, like, their system is so messed up now. Uh, Craig, it seems like just now you've joined the Patreon. Thank you, dude. Then we had a couple, or a new annual patron join, too. So, thanks for all the support. We're back over 1,200 patrons. Well, we were at 1,300 last month, so we lost, like, 100, 150, maybe. And we're back, like, 1,200, so thank y'all. I mean, think about all that retention, how many people stuck around. I'm so grateful for that. Sorry, we got like people riding around and they're whatever that is, that noise. Yeah, be sure to join the Discord if you haven't. Uh, I'll post that link real quick. Yeah, dude, we got 12,618 members. Nice. Golden ratio. Or kind of. There's the Discord link. If you want to get notified when I go live, that's the best place to do because YouTube will inevitably fail. If there's like a Bitcoin pump at like 3 a.m. and I go live, you'll most likely miss the, uh, you won't get a notification. Okay. YouTube's weird. Like if I have a stream and then I stream later, you won't get notified because it, it's like they, their system just is overloaded. They don't ping everyone for everything. So. Discord would prevent that, and there's educational resources in the Discord, and that you, you're just part of a, you know, a community of twelve thousand plus people. All right. So here we are, man. So the here it is, the poll, right? The poll. Let me go to it real quick. I'll ping that because there's still plenty of time. It's only the fourth, so this is a month long poll. And the further we are from an area, you know, all that is like the more valid this poll is for people to right now be um, voting in it. Here's the poll. Word. Word. Yeah, so we got 2,700 votes so far. Obviously, this is the most voted on poll I've ever had. So, hype for that. That's the first community YouTube poll I've ever done as well, so... Again, highest weekly candle close of all time for Ethereum. Splendid. Wow. Super's actually maybe super. I don't think you got deep enough. Maybe you did though. Holy crap, man. This reminds me of like YFI. It's so close. Dang, man. It was so close, but then it wasn't good enough. All right, you, you look at this and you're like immediately, oh my God, but no, it was, this is like, like a 200% retrace from this fit point. So it's not a harmonic by any means. But is a 786 retrace? Nope, not even yet. So maybe it could be it'd be more prudent to wait. What is BTC doing on the VI volatility index? It still moves so aggressively it is hard to ever feel safe as an altcoin trader. Happy Easter, bro. I don't know. I don't really ever look at the VI. I look at the BVOL. Though it's still extremely elevated. Yeah, man, it's tough. It's tough because, I mean, Bitcoin goes down 2%. Altcoins a lot of times go down double-digit percentage losses, right? I get it. It sucks. That's just why it's like it's better to have an edge on Bitcoin at the same time as having an edge with the altcoins, but seldom are we getting that opportunity, right? So you just got to go with it. So on this one, um, 
250 or 224 would make would be the best probably. Other than that, it, look what's happening. What was once support is now resistance. So if you get back above 323, I think you go straight up to 367. Break 367, you're probably going up to uh, 449. So at this current time, I don't really see anything that sticks out to me as absolutely amazing. I can't wait to long this. It's right. I think we just looked at one of the theta. It doesn't look like theta right now, unfortunately, man. Sorry. That's super. Never seen this in my life till now. Wow, what else going on? I've oh my god, this oh yeah, dude, it's VRA. Come on, come on, dude. The VRA community too, man. They were like spamming. Like, dude, Mitch Ray's bullish on VRA, man. We were like down here. It looked good, man. It looked real good, and it, I can't. Wow, it's I just forgot about it. It's gone nuts. Beautiful. T being respected. Really well. And now maybe hidden bullish divergence again. This in the four hour. A little bit. I mean, you know. That was it, man. This was oh, this was pretty freaking good, dude. Right. VRA, it is time. <laughs> oh, God. Very nice. 328, it is time. 328, it was at uh, 1.8 cents. Wow, it's like doubled in value. Over doubled in value since then. Okay, dude. At this current time, I mean, if, if this keeps up, then yeah, you got a chance of... Uh, Testing your all-time eyes, at least. Tempting a rally here. All right, 4.5 to 4.88 cents. I don't really see anything that sticks out like it did before. So if it doesn't, if it's not that, I mean, all you got going for you is you're, you've sold off. You're you're trying to round out a little bit, and you're showing that impending price action continuation. That's it. There's no confirmation lows, right? Nothing like that yet. So what if it comes down to double bottom again or something, right? I mean, it'd go all the way down to 3.3 cents and then show like bullish classic divergence or, or classic bullish divergence on a second bottom. It just, it's a little too early on this. It just played out. Everything just went well. The TA was just respected. So yeah, it just all depends probably on what Bitcoin does. Which Bitcoin has just tested 58,367 and in the short term rejected it. Plenty of time left. All right, next one. Yeah, I mean, really tough for a tiger to do anything with us, right? You are my mentor, Mitch, for the past three years and learned so much from you. I'm spreading your knowledge, which I learned from you to others. Can you have a look at BPRO slash USDT? Bullish divergence on the four hour. Bretta, thank you for the 20 and uh, very grateful that you gave me a chance, an opportunity, right? Uh, so it's, it's amazing that I've been able to be a positive influence in your life and I'm, I'm grateful for that. Thank you. It's humbling. It always is, man. When someone says I've affected them in such a strong way, it feels really good. It never gets old, right? And it's just like, you know, yesterday I had a real bad stream. I got kicked out of keto. I was out with friends, you know, shooting guns and eating, just hanging out. And then it was like, oh, got to get back to stream. And just wasn't uh, in the best mood. And then I let some scrubs get under my skin. And it was like uh, just a day to wipe away. You know, we get those, right? We all have bad days. Right, especially if you stream seven days a week, you're gonna have a bad day. And yesterday was just one of them, so. Thanks for the support, everyone. And being understanding at least of that, so. Uh, nice, you mean yesterday, the asset appreciated in value 75%. So I don't know, like what? Uh, who knows? 
Like, what do you do on an asset that just appreciated 79% in one daily candle? You don't do anything. If you're just now looking at it for the first time. I, it kind of reminded me of... Um, God, I've seen so many S coins, dude. I feel like the... I see S coins, the little kid on the Shining or whatever. I see S coins with bullish patterns and then I look at new S coins that look similar to other S coins I can't even remember the names of because all I can remember is the chart itself. I can't remember the ticker. So on Patreon, I, oh, I don't really want to sell it, dude. It's just literally, if you like this stream and you support what I do and you want this stream to continue, right? And you like, you, you like the fact that I don't have an actual sponsor, right? I don't... I don't spam like, hey man, go eat cookie dough, so and so, or go buy this S coin or something, you know, like that. You, you appreciate not listening to copyright music with no monetization, no advertisements like that. Um, if you want to be educated, you want to learn more about like the stuff I look at and the terminology, and you want to learn about reward or risk and position sizing, and you want to be in a really active community of people that can help, not just me, the whole community is trying to help in the Patreon chat and Discord. So it's all those reasons. So, I mean, I'm not selling it. I'm just telling you that's literally probably the best way to support the channel, but you get the most value out of it, right? You could tip me all day for requests, but you, you could then go join the Patreon and all these ones that look like golden gems or whatever. I don't mean, that's the thing, golden gem. Uh, hey, we look at it and then I ping all patrons live on stream right there. So then you get the chart and you're like, dang, well, that's pretty nice. So. Um, if you miss the stream, right, and you're a patron, you get pinged from the gems that we find in the stream. That type of stuff is what you get in the Patreon. 1,200 plus members. Over 1,000 members four months in a row now. So thank y'all. Oh, the Sixth Sense, sorry, not The Shining, my bad. I see, no, it is in the, it's in the deleted scenes of The Shining, okay? I don't know. Sorry, I'm not good at old, old movies. It's the sixth sense, dude. I see S coins. Oh my god. I see Gartley's and harmonics everywhere. Whew. All right, move along, sir. Thanks again, Jay Nathan, for picking up the egg, dude. Sweet mother of God. Yeah, dude. Remember how nuts it looked? And then it back tested old resistance. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. It's so educational. Like, look what this is the stuff I try to teach here every day, right? Assets that do this are unbelievable, right? Dia was looking bullish forever and then it broke out. Then it did. This is what is called the backup. Right when when the Wyckoff accumulation ends, like phase E, it's beyond phase E. You you break out and then you sell off sharply to back test the top of the trading range as support. You did that really well, and look what's happened since then. Gone all time highs like right now as I'm speaking to you. But on this second high on March 16th, look how it back tested that old high from September of 2020 as support and bullishly engulfed back above it. it fought immediate volatility price action and look ever since then. It's beautiful. You're even. This old high where traders opened this asset at uh, 412, right? You just back, broke out and back tested a couple days. It asked support. And now look at the fall through you got yesterday. And it's still going, man. Things going parabolic. And the composite operator was telling you what was coming. He was telling you. And we were here. We were here identifying all this stuff, right? Dia was a specific beaut. There it is. There's your parabolic run, right? So we would do harmonics, maybe, or not harmonics, but uh, Fibonacci here, high to low, major all-time high to the all-time low. So you've exceeded a one two seven two. Next target is five forty one. The gold mean ratio is six oh six. If you're above five dollars, long enough, wow, dude, that's a major psychological resistance being broken. There you go, man. Beautiful, Dia. Oh, oh my god, are you serious? Chat, there are only three NFT Easter eggs left. Three left. That's it, dude. So, I mean, it's it's like, uh, 
limited edition Easter of 2021 NFT. Who will be the last three, or will there be even any more who buy it? You know, like maybe not, but uh, they'll be burned anyway if they don't get bought. So, thank y'all. Okay. Next one was uh, Cell. Yep, Cell looked at that one earlier today. So, yep, so gorgeous, dude. Oh my god. Yeah, man, it was like Bartley. It was literally a 50% retrace on B with 786 and it reversed there. It could, and, and the reason why, and I had a the specific discussion in PMs with Scott Carney on this one. And I'm like, dude, look at this. How in the world could it ever go to the 886 if it's if sellers are so exhausted here? And then it makes a low, and then this local low and runs up and pretty much hits the C like a target, right? And so then it dumped after that, like a low, the same, a, another low, and like four lows, man, right? And there are probably XABCDs within this too, but um, either way, man, it's just never falling below the 786. And so, yeah, eventually 693 again. Well, so much strong consolidation, man. Beautiful consolidation uh, after a really big markup to where eventually this asset could be headed to $10. I would think probably and if the the trend doesn't reverse majorly for Bitcoin I don't see why sell couldn't eventually break the top of this range this consolidation that's been going on since the beginning of the year okay we're talking three plus months of sideways consolidation in a very bullish trend oh yeah ten dollars would probably be the target if you ever broke out to all-time highs eventually At the same time, if Bitcoin crashes and the trend ends, and yeah, yeah, it's done, it's screwed, man. It's gonna fall to the bottom of the channel again, and break down and go to 256, right? So it's all about that macro, man. Okay, looking real good. So. Thanks from Germany, love the analysis. Can you please send link yep. to Discord? Oh, what? Again? Oh God, it Just ran out of invites. Down. We got a mod that can make an invite with the thing on it, you know, that I forgot how to do it. <sighs> Bueller, someone. Radu, thank you, man, for uh, getting that egg, that NFT. Much loved it. Uh oh. Oh, God, there's only two NFTs left. Two eggs, chat. Pick Flick, man. Thank you for buying that egg. Here, here's the link. Uh, egg. His name's literally Egg, and he asked about the egg. It's just coincidence. Uh, K and C. Next one. I mean, this was this was one of those that was just kind of like, dang, man. It hits the literally hits the PCZ. 200 moving average is above the most important area in my opinion. This whole chart's history, which was two dollars, and it's just gone bonkers. And now it's above like 332. So the longer this stays above this area, the higher the probability is it runs up to, to make more all-time highs and sees four dollars, 407 gold mean ratio. And look at that price action correlation. It's so nice right there at that old high and you're above it right now. So if Bitcoin doesn't dump, oh man, it's got a chance of 407 from here. So we're talking about like 18, 20% more gains right up there. Uh, but still, it's, that, this was beautiful, but unfortunately, right? There was literally no seller exhaustion at the pattern completion zone, none. So it, it was a reaction and it's really tough to take longs. It's not smart to take longs on assets when they just hit the PCZ and that's it. Because oftentimes you rally, and then you back test. And then sometimes the back test can go lower than that initial reaction. So it's just this time, it literally just hit and then boom, gone. And that it's been kind of frustrating because it's been happening 
to a lot of assets. And that just might show the tremendous amount of bullish bias that exists, right? It's so strong. It, okay, so this happened uh, long before this whole part of the cycle happened. Dude, let's freaking go, Martin, man. Is that the highest, the single highest tip today? Boom! Wow. Martin is a teacher of $500. It's a great day to be one of your students. Thanks, Mitch. Martin, man, thanks for the $500, dude. Jeez. Much love. Happy Easter. Very, very grateful for all y'all. This crazy man. Uh, thank you. And wow, just now, Julian S. Thank you for joining the Patreon. Welcome. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking. Is that a joint? Go. Please be sure if you're a new patron to sing with the Patreon to the Discord, you will not get the value you seek if you do not join the Discord. Okay? If you're a patron, you have to. Okay. K and C. Surprisingly, after such a tremendous markup, the price action correlation to the previous high is really pretty good right now. Like above 332, I like it. Could continue. Nothing else though. That there's no other reason why I like it besides just what it's doing at this level. Okay. Below 332, I'm starting to not like it again. And eh, a lot of downside if it falls back below 332. Okay. Next one was that. Holy crap, chat. How many requests have there been today? Whew. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Anyone remember FTM broke out and back tested? Ooh. I'm, I'm kind of liking this one. That low. Okay. It's the low from February 28th that is now being tested for the second time as support. Okay, so we have this, we just saw this stuff happening. One bottom, right? Nay, a second bottom of a critical support, right? Almost left shoulder, head right shoulder. It's a higher low shoulder, that's stronger. Neckline's very clear, right? I would say the neckline's right there at 47 cents. This is nice, dude. FTM, oh man, it was so close to hidden bullish divergence. It's okay, it's bearish convergence somewhat, but Look at the way the negative momentum is waning here. Anything like now, if you're above 39 cents, this could be a, a low risk hard work opportunity play. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Thinking like target. If like you got to break 47 cents, if you break that. Oh man, it could go. I think a lot higher. I'll, look, there's that the top of the wedge, right? The top of the falling wedge is literally the measured move of the potential inverse head and shoulder stuff going on, right? Show us the zero chart, my guy. Thanks for your guidance. Do it all. Thanks. Uh, we already did, and also it's like a twenty dollars minimum for requests, just so you know, like for the future. But you can rewind the stream and check out Zillica for free if you want. It's there. We looked at it. So it's it's definitely pretty good, man. I the issue was like, oh, okay. Do you have a stop loss below thirty five cents? Because that's definitely where it could go to, and it could make a perfect inverse head and shoulders but the thing is it broke the supply line of the textbook falling wedge one two three four uh five right there for almost wasn't a wedge dude wow but if you like the thing is though you could have done it like this i literally readjusted it, it like that that's pretty much the way it was one two three four on the bottom and you just had that wick i just adjusted that's all i did so either way i think it was a falling wedge and now you're trying to confirm what was once support is now support again, second time locally and the breakout, you've already broken out. So there's a big argument here for why FTM could be going higher soon, sooner rather than later. Okay, uh, I mean, I like this dude. FTM dude, wow. Some of these developing, right? Right. 
Next one. Whew. Hasn't struggled hard, hasn't it, since that buying climax? Yep. It has, in fact, a bad. It looked like it was double bottoming and actually broke out and then just failed to sustain. And now it's just like, ugh. Love your T A B R O, but that's two strikes with our pretty little girl easy. Uh. Oh, did you request, uh, I gotta go to the bathroom, man. I've been live for two hours, 21 minutes, so I've long, this is an extended stream, and I haven't been doing nothing but request this entire stream, so, except the very beginning. So I'll be right back. If you join the live stream, the like button, the bell, so we'll keep them going. Yeah, we'll get to easy. Hang tight. So still only two left. Two Easter eggs left. What's up, Anonymous? Thanks for purchasing the comfort tea. Enjoy it, man. That's the one that has all the harmonics on the back of it. It's beautiful. You can educate strangers that are behind you in line about harmonics with that shirt. So. All right, again, here's the link, two more. They're going away anyway, I'll be right back. I'm back. Sorry. It was a lot of coffee. So I don't really know if I like this. Um, it double bottomed, right? And had a big markup. Noise, noise. 
Hair I Bleeper tip $21. How about TWT slash USDT over there on KuCoin? I don't know we can look. Harry Paper thinks it's 21. Uh, so I don't know really how I feel about this. I mean, hidden bullish divergence is going on. Where it could, yeah, it could reverse here. Or continue, anyway. That's what's being implied. Right? But my issue is like how you made a high, you sold off, then you made a lower high, then you dumped hard, then you double bottomed, and then you rallied and made another lower high. So it's like there's just not enough market participants obviously looking at it that way to push this price higher so it's now selling off and it, you do think that maybe this area would be tested again and if you can't hold it that's when a big dump could happen and that's that's how those big x a b c d patterns develop down here right you get you go if you don't hold that you're going probably straight down to 9.4 tenths of one cent so i would just be cautious of these levels yes uh the next move is implying a continuation but it doesn't ensure that you're going to end up making a higher high than any of your previous highs so remember this thing had its run it's fun in the sun but now it might be done dang man not bad okay <clears throat> continuation implied but doesn't mean higher highs Moving on. Oh, wow. All right. Only one left, chat. Who will be the last owner of the Easter 2021 Mitch Ray TA NFT? Who will be it? All right. Or will it be anyone? Will I just be burning that one? Okay. Yeah, all easy to Ethereum. Was insane, right? Was insane. And uh, now it's struggling up here at that one point fifteen thousand ways, right? Fifteen point five thousand ways. Uh, if you can ever break it, uh, you're going to eighteen thousand seven ninety five ways. But it hasn't yet, right? It oh, nice hidden divergence. How it all played out in the end, right? It was impending price action continuation, and it continued, but it doesn't ensure higher highs, right? Right, that was there, played out, but I mean, it's good that you're above this, like 13,867 ways, right? February 19th, March 15th, right? If you can hold that, then you're, you're just ping ponging between like a support resistance, right? We've had these plotted there. So uh, anything above 15,560, you'd think that that's where the big market could happen. Really nice uptrend and very real amounts of accumulation still occurring. Okay, undeniable. Look at your low here, then your your higher low, and then technically slightly a higher low. And then what happened after that? Another higher low. You keep making these 88%, 90% retraces. That is still accumulation, sir, madam. Sosa, thanks for uh, the merch perch. Enjoy your harmonic shirt, yeah. Let all the people behind you know. Spread the word, okay, of the harmonics, all right. Amen. Oh, my God. Happy Easter, everyone. So you could say there's actually bearish divergence going on. Class B bearish divergence in the RSI, like a lower level on the RSI on the same high. So you pull back, just make another higher low. And eventually it's just going to get to a point where it goes nuts again. All right. This is. Oh, oh my God, I forgot. I didn't even look. Dude, this is nuts. Easy to Ethereum. If you break this 15,560 ways, there's no reason why it wouldn't go up to 20,000 ways. I just, I forgot to zoom out. This is gorgeous, man. It's so symmetrical. It's just pretty. I mean, you go find me a chart that looks this beautiful. Okay, nice rounding bottom right there. Gorgeous. I just love the symmetry of this structure. 20,000 ways and after 20,000 ways, 27,000 ways, W-E-I, it's a way, it's a, not Satoshi, 
because we're not looking to the Bitcoin pair, we're looking at the Ethereum pair, so the ways. there was a time and place to care about this asset on EWT and it was way lower and we were looking at it when it made sense. Now it's like, uh, yeah, I think you got yourself a demand line. Yep, you're just like that highest high at one time at all time highs, August 28th. Demand line is like uh, right here. You're really struggling there. Are you, are you below it? You're trying to hold it here? Clearly a cell wall, right? Like a cell wall at 1846 with accumulate. So it's almost like ascending triangle behavior in ways, right? It's not perfect. Dang, dude, you can't say that psychology isn't isn't there. That's that's really nice, dude. I mean this could be set look a, a low, look as an X A B C. Right, where you're making that higher low double bottom, losing the negative momentum, holding that demand line. I mean, if this can sustain and hold here, then you're talking about a price eventually of 1840 again. CBT is goal. Wow. Wow. CPT tipped $100. Just tune in, have you looked at Zillia? Yeah, we looked at it. Uh, we can look at it again, though. CBT, I have... This is the last request, funny enough. Better late than never, I guess, right? So you're in the front of the line. You, If you were in the back of the line and you just tuned in, you're now in the front of the line. I'm on a request. Crazy. EWT, right? I mean, here's the argument. Just looking at it, right? You see the demand line. Very clear uptrend. It's already marked up, but it's been consolidating since mid-February this way right and you're talking like if it ever broke that cell wall the cell wall at 1847 a 100 measure move could eventually take it to 2649 that's pretty amazing looking jeez sweet worth at least Letting people know about it. Let's see it. You know, it, it may not work, but it may not play out. It may break that demand line and dump. Now, this is like, if you're talking about a, on a sitting triangle long, this is the lowest risk it's going to get, pretty much, being at that demand line like that. And you're... And why it else so good too in low risk is because look how close you're getting to the apex. The closer an asset gets to the apex of the triangle, that is where the two trend lines converge, apex, the term. The closer it gets, the higher the probability the move's coming. So you're deep in the development of the structure, right? Sorry, sending some now take two days. Smiley face. and thank you, dude. I know it takes a while to get there from Australia, mate. Yeah, still one left. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, one left, man. Are you serious? Who will it be? I don't know. Yeah, easy. Yeah, Philip. It's pretty... It could be. It's potentially pretty. Right? Potentially pretty. Alright. Back to Zill. A lot of people have been wanting to know about Zill, but I mean, it's like, eh, not much to look at besides it. It was amazing. And then it broke out, right? It broke uh, 19.7 cents. 
hidden bullish divergence on the higher low and uh, rallied hit a one two seven two and it's just kind of reversing here why because bitcoin's pulling back that's what i'm saying dude all these opportunities that we found today none of them matter they're all going to fail if bitcoin just rejects 58k as resistance with confirmation and then goes to 55k all this stuff's going to get wrecked man all of it you have to understand that okay Because that's literally what Bitcoin's just done um, on the four hour as it went up, it hit 58,367 and it's now reversed there uh, and is now at its lowest point of the new week, pretty much. Yeah, maybe not Hex because Hex doesn't care about anything. I don't know, there's some of these don't care, right? Some of these are like Zilla, it's hitting all time highs today, man, right? But uh, I think it's very a uh, real idea that uh, Zill comes to back test 19.7 cents as support. Just for confirmation, man. Like, there's been no confirmation that this is a support. So you come down, back test, what was once resistance is now support before going higher if it's going to. And if you don't hold that, then you're probably going way down, probably like 16 cents. So, yeah, you're just reversed. Everything's reversing with Bitcoin except WRX and Tron, right? And Tron going nuts. Yeah, Tron's up 5%. Uh, ETC's up a little bit. Xerox. Yeah, most everything's down Bitcoin. Everything's just following Bitcoin right now. Okay, so thanks again, CPT, for that 100. That's what I'm talking about, right? You see it? 58,367. You go back, right? There the top the zone right where church set it up and the highest point intraday 58,092 and 58,367 you've just gone up and said nope that is resistance i'm selling off now now not over you can sell off and rally and decision and eventually break through it again and then we're in real good shape all these altcoins are in real good shape a big one get back above 58,367 let's go Dang, CBT coming in with another hundred. CPT took one hundred dollars. I remember when we looked at Halloween back in December. Good grief. Charlie Brown's Good Grief Connect. Thank you. Hollow Chain. Is that a passive aggressive uh, request? Hollow Chain. Oh, Hollow Chain, man. On. Dappable. Dude, literally unstoppable. Yeah, dude, it's it's nuts, man, how it absurd it's gotten. Right, December. Alright, well, a couple more trend lines. But um yeah, man. December it made sense, right? It was like, wow, I mean this is down at the Wyckoff range. This was the composite operator leaving a signature to us, right? And, and now look at it. Do you see this chat? Absurdity. Okay, there's nothing we can do. I know you weren't even requesting it, you were just saying, and I'm just saying, wow. So let's, let's just do the the tool here. Let's just go from that uh, that January 22nd low to the all-time high. This asset in 70 days is appreciated in value 4,821%. Sweet mother of God. Probably the best performing asset that exists. I mean, any S, any S coin from January 22nd gone up 4,821%. Probably not. All right, so Chad, it's been such a good stream. I mean, I've been live for two hours and 40 minutes now. So happy Easter to you. What's up, Ricky Bobby, man? Ricky Bobby super chatted $50. Man, before you leave, can you please take a look at the RK things? Sure. If you want, Ricky, Bobby, Ark, on OKX, 
No, well, there's one on Binance. Maybe look at that one. Oh, there's just not much to look at. It's so similar to like freaking hot or something. Man, there was such a time to look and care about this asset. Oh god. It's so white coffee in. Arc to the US dollar. Look, man, the big breakout was 86 cents. It's a no man's land, right? There's like Is it any wonder why it's going up straight up like that? Look, it's like straight up, straight down, straight up, straight down. So what do you do when you break 171? You go straight up. It's gone straight up, but it's not done yet, right? It may take a while before it finally sees 401 if it's ever going to do it. I mean, Bitcoin has to not crash, right? But that's the target on ARC, you know? That's ARC. Yep, I mean, I wish, again, there's like just, you know, what we look, like Theta. Like we just saw, we saw Theta and it's like, oh my God, this is it, dude. This is beautiful. This could be it. All the variables are looking swell, spectacular. This is over, right? The time to ask about ARC was down here in December, late December. Look, the old ice line from December 2018 became support again. You held it, then you made another accumulation. Shh, accumulation. Quiet accumulation. No one cares about ARC back then. That's the time to acquire your position because that's where the smart money's taking their long. And look what the smart money's been able to do push that price up tremendously. There you go, Ricky, Bobby, man, right? You're in the dead middle of a zone here where the asset, flip a coin, could go to 171 to back test it as support or it could pivot and rally to $4. There's just no way of knowing because it's like, and there's kind of a little bearish divergence maybe on the RSI, not really a big deal, but um, it's just, you're flipping a coin at this level. Down here, no, no coin flip. It's like, oh yeah, you've got tremendous upside potential up here. Yeah. So thank you all for coming by for Easter. I really appreciate it. Did we sell that uh, last? It, it did it. It's done, man. It's done. Jesus chimes for the last NFT Easter egg selling as the stream comes to a close. There were 15. Thank every one of you for supporting the stream and enjoy your collectible that now no one can get except the ones that own it. Now you can sell it to other people if they want it. So the next uh, NFT that will be available will be July 4th. Will be 4th of July. Okay. So I'll leave y'all with uh, one of my old favorite jams. Little Perpetual Groove. Seriously, like the most supportive community out there. Y'all are amazing. Freaking love y'all. And so much support on such a holy day. Seriously. Very grateful. So I'll be back. Until next time. Respect the T.A.
bruh. Hey, Mitchell D, thank you so much for uh, joining the Patreon, man. Uh, here, I'll give you some Jesus chimes for that. Uh, now we have a Mitchell D. Say hello to Matthew D. We have two Matthew Ds, so I don't even know if this is playing. Hold on. Uh, I don't know, dude. Can y'all hear this? Maybe not. Hold on. What the heck? I'll just do it. There we go. Boom. Thank you, Mitchell, man. Please be sure to sing with the Patreon on the Discord. Let's go.
my name is JP. I'm a robot. I like robots. I have a robot vagina. Bow to your sensei. Bow to your sensei! I have some evidence Van Bear Pig could be in this area. I, I don't know, sir. Adios, turd nuggets.